The Calligraphy Starter Pack, which is a premium accessory kit, is specifically developed for the Scan and Cut DX machine. I'll start by setting up my machine. So I raise the touchscreen, turn the power on, and press the home button. I open the tray at the front of the machine. Raise the scanning lever to number two and pull out the tray at the back of the machine. Next I will unpack the calligraphy starter kit. Inside the kit I find an activation card for a premium kit. I find some information about additional calligraphy fonts. There is a practice piece of cardstock, an envelope, some instructions and also an idea of what is included in the kit. In addition, there are three calligraphy pens, There is also the tool itself, which is made up of two parts, or three in fact. The pens are double-ended with two widths on each colour, so you've got black, blue and red. You've then got the pen holder, which if you've had a universal pen tool looks very similar. Then you've got the alignment tool. There are also two pen adjusters, one marked A and the second one is marked B. So to set this up I'm first going to activate the premium pattern collection. To do this I go into my account settings in Canvas Workspace open the tab marked pattern collection activation type in the code and that's found on the inside of the activation card If you have more than one machine registered, you will need to choose which one it gets registered to. So I am going to register it to my DX machine. Now that I have unlocked that kit, I'm going to go and take a look at what's included. So I will head back to the main screen of Canvas Workspace, open the Pattern Collection tab, and then click on the Calligraphy Starter Kit. You can tell it's been unlocked as the padlock is showing as unlocked. So we can see here there are a number of designs, various different sayings and a few frames as well. In addition there is a new character set. Now this character set will work like a font directly in your machine 
However, to get it there, we will need to use a USB stick. I'll pop mine in the computer just now. So I click on download all parts, find my USB stick, and then click save. The individual designs can also be downloaded to the USB stick. However, these can also be transferred via Wi-Fi. To do that, I would click on the preview of the cutting mat and then click on Scan and Cut Transfer. Once I've downloaded the designs that I want, I will open a file browser and then open up my USB stick and I will extract the folders as they have been downloaded in a zipped folder. Once I have finished extracting the folder information, I will take my USB stick from the computer and plug it into my scan and cut machine. Now I'm going to set up the calligraphy pen tool. So I take the calligraphy stand and use the tab at the front to open up the bottom. I will then insert the pen adjuster marked A because I want to use the wider 3.5 millimeter tip. I'll then turn it until it clicks into place and make sure that the little notch is aligned to the number one. Then I will close the catch. Next I will insert the calligraphy pen holder, take the cap off of my pen at the end marked A, insert it into the top of the pen holder until the nib slides into the slot that is in the pen adjuster. Then I'm going to lift up the grey ring and turn it to the left until I can't turn it anymore and then drop it in place so that the teeth lock it. Then drop down the catch on the calligraphy stand, remove the pen holder and insert it into the scan and cut machine and lock it in place. Time to bring up our data. First I'll retrieve the design that I sent via the transfer method. There we go, that's simple, that's loaded up now. Just a couple of pointers. These are fine line designs and therefore can't be cut as shapes and very few of the editing features are available for them. You can duplicate them and you can resize them but the aspect ratio lock is permanently lo locked. Next, if I retrieve the data from the USB stick, I can choose the font that I transferred. 
and something different will happen when I select this particular font. A character input keyboard will appear. So I can now enter exactly the text I want. And you have uppercase, lowercase and also special characters and punctuation available, much like you do with other character sets in the Scan and Cut. So there's my design. Time to go ahead and draw this. So from the output menu, select Draw. And the machine is giving you a recommended scale. So when I pointed out align the notch to number 1, this was Y. For other fonts you may be advised to align it to number 2. Next I load the mat, access the settings via the spanner icon, set the draw speed and draw pressure to the recommended 3 and 0, and then start the machine running. When the machine has finished drawing you can take the finished result out and inspect it. And I noticed that there wasn't a very uniform line on mine. So I actually went back and loaded up another piece of cardstock and played around with the pressure by increasing it and the speed by decreasing it. Just to see if I would get a better result that way. OK, that's the second one done, a much better result. So do bear in mind you may need to play around a little with the settings in order to get the perfect result.